Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. It is great to be back in Skyrim having come from Enderol. This is just gorgeous, isn't it? So I'm at Helljarchen Hall. Over there is my Frost Falls and the property that I've come to build today is called The Hideaway. I had this in my last playthrough. Oh, oh I love this part of the world so much. Just had a bandit attack. Nice little welcome home for me. Long life to you, Thay. Hi, Gregor. Okay, so it's very near to Helljarchen. As you can see, that little mm, cave symbol. So it's down here. And then around here somewhere. There it is. Move planks. Okay, so I fully anticipate getting told off again for my pronunciation of <laughs> hell jarchin because I, I always say it wrong and people always pick it up pick it up so when you come into the cave this is what you see a little cubby hole there and then a couple of rooms very small so you can see that the home is going to be tiny but it's one of those small but beautifully formed homes and you know I love building it's one of my favorite things to do in Skyrim and this home there is a cheat chest for it so excuse me bunny so if you can't be bothered with it and you don't want to be out collecting all the materials etc making all the fittings and whatnot then you don't have to uh, just have a look on the mod page and you'll see so the first thing you need to do when you get in here is clean it and already you can see it's a hundred times better and you get a good idea about what this is going to be like and your workbench has now appeared so I'll just show you the options and obviously oh, I can do stonework I've actually got linen wraps on me wow so there's a lot to do and I need a lot of stuff I never have enough on me <laughs> all right I'll get building and then I will come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished all right you guys that's it the building is finished and just before we go in and I show you what it looks like I just want to give a quick shout out to all the kind people that have joined my channel and become a member thank you so much I really appreciate it and um, your support means the absolute world to me it really does so the home something unfortunate has happened really with this um, and I'll explain it to you at the workbench now I had this mod in my last playthrough and it was absolutely beautifully behaved this time not so much after finishing all the building I got to the last bit where you remove the decorating table and it gives you all the decoration options. In other words, you can swap out a lot of the rugs and all sorts of other things in the home uh, once you've built this last section. But for me, well, I'll show you. And now I'm stuck like that. I can't move. I can't move the camera, I can't move myself, I can't shout, I can't call up my magic, I can't do anything. I've tried uh, calling to Whiterun and all so many things. All it does is put me through the floor and I still can't save my game or do anything. I checked on the bug section of the page for this mod and other people too have had this problem. So I then installed the same mod on Old Rim and I know I'm going to get told off for saying that. <laughs> um, and I came across exactly the same problem. So I don't know what has changed. It's obviously not my game, my mods or my load order. Um, but there's something broken about this. OK, so I'll show you what the home actually looks like. OK, so sadly, I won't be able to show you the decorating options, but I can show you how fabulous this place looks, even without that. In it goes in here, comfortable, making himself at home. Bless you. <laughs> that was my cat sneezing. I don't know if you heard that or not. So in here in the cubby, here's your smelter, your anvil, whetstone, armor improvement. As you can see, it's just fabulous. I love all this unique um, workstations. I think they're just terrific. 
and if this is looking familiar to you it it should do really because i've uh, videoed a couple of others of this mod authors build your owns they're all in my build your own playlist so do check them out so this is this cave uh is now your main sitting room here's your wardrobe <laughs> everything just hanging up it looks fab doesn't it I really like it. Here's my little indoor garden looking so gorgeous. As you can see, I've planted it up. Oh, did I miss the soil? No, I didn't. Oh, I got excited for a second then. And you can interact with the lights, turn them on and off. You can open these little windows. Um, unfortunately, I can't um, without finishing off the home. Oh, I can. Look at that. How cool is that? How bizarre that the activator's all the way over here. <laughs> okay. And I just love this detail here. Just melting the water for my plants. That is excellent. Little watering can. So many nifty features. You can turn your candles on and off uh, all the way through this place. You can also do the same with the fire. That is just gorgeous. I love the use of these items in this way. And look at that Heath Robinson affair. So normally, had I been able to finish it properly at the workbench, you'd be able to swap out the pillows and the uh, soft pelts there. Just standing up, not doing anything else. <laughs> okay. You could also change all these rugs on the floor. It may not happen to you. You may have a perfectly smooth experience. Um, and for some reason, it's just both my games. But I I don't know. So, oven and a cooking pot. Oh, it makes such a difference, don't you think? Look at the mushroom baskets. How cute are they? And there is so much storage for such a tiny little place. It's amazing. You can also swap out the tea kettle as well. <laughs> Neat. And you can change the chairs and the rugs. This is so nice. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that enchanter. can swap out my drink and the boiled egg and the cheese that's just charming and here's your alchemy lab aren't they just oh so nice love that little thing this style of decoration absolutely does it for me and you can swap out the shrines as well if you want a different shrine and there's a music box with 10 different tunes Here's your treasure wall. Now for this, um, I'd re refer you to the mod page so that you can see what you can actually put up there. I must say the pictures make it look amazing. Bit of flickery light on the bookshelf there at the library, but no big deal. So, there it is. <laughs> Bedroll for Inigo. Pretty sure you can turn this on. There it is. Ten to heater. This this type of home absolutely does it for me. It ticks all my boxes. I love, love, love all the customization options and the style of decoration is right up my street. Look at that, using that plate to reflect the light. And again, you're able to change all of these colors. Oh, now it's a bed. How cool is that? 
That is so nice, little guest bird. Extra blanket, in case it gets cold in the night. And then here's your washing area. He really has thought of everything, hasn't he? His name is Jasper the Gnome, by the way, the mod author. Which is a very cool name. But my favourite section in the whole place is definitely this area. I love that so much. Look how pretty that picture is. So he's very happy. So I'm just disappointed, really, that I couldn't show you the full extent of all the changeable items. But, you know, if you download this mod and that little thing, you know, just quick save before you uh, click on that last option on the... Um, on the decorating table. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here and call that the end of this wee video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Do let me know what you think about this in the comments and I will see you soon for the next one.